intro again. Give me a second. Hey everyone, how you doing? Aurea Pampa Araba here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find QuickTime files that you may have lost or that may be causing your computer to your QuickTime application to crash. And for me, that was the case. I kept finding every time I tried to restart QuickTime, it would keep crashing unexpectedly. And I found out a way to find a way to actually mitigate it was to find the files that were being um, that was last recorded and then delete those files. Once I did that, that solved my problem pretty easy. And I'll show you how to do it. Let me share my screen to do that. So I will share quickly. All right. So over here we have um, it's just loading right now. And so when I searched on Google for the folder where the unsaved files were stored, I found this link here, which I thought, okay, that was helpful. However, let me show you what actually came of it. So the first thing to notice is there is a space between here. If you paste that straight into your finder uh, folder, you won't get to the folder you're looking for. And there's another space between Apple dot and QuickTime player. So you want to remove all those spaces. The second thing is that this tilde here actually isn't just tilde. What you need to put there is users and then also put the username for the computer you're working on. So mine is RF, for example, which is my name. So that is what I had to put in there. So users slash aura and then slash the rest of this. So let's do that in practice. Let's say this is the actual folder that contains the files. But let's say I go to another folder. Let's say that one, for example. And I want to go there. So what I would do is come here, copy all of this. This is just found by clicking on Google, by the way, and searching for it. And then when I open the finder window, what I need to then do is go to go and then click on go to folder. Okay, that's very important. Now you can see it puts a folder path here, which is fine, but it's not all I want. However, what I wanna make sure is that I remove, remove that bit just before and make sure when I paste it, I remove the tilde. So let's, let's do that. So first let's remove that tilde, okay? And the additional slash, we just need one there. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the spaces between the dots or after the dots, and then you can see it has recognized the folder. So all I then need to do is just click on that or press enter and voila, it opens the folder. Now, what I next need to do is I can, if these files are the ones that are causing an issue and I just want to delete them, I can just select them and just hit delete, just like that. However, you may want to actually access the files. You'll notice that this is saved as a QuickTime player composition, not the actual MOV or MP4 file. Now that can be problematic to open, but let me show you what you do. What you can do is change the file extension. So I right clicked that and then went to rename just there. And then I put .mov at the end. You could use .mp4 if you want as well, but I used .mov. It's gonna say, oh, do you wanna keep that funky um, extension name or use the new one? Use the new one, use .mov, all right. So I clicked on that and then I now see it as a folder. But once I open the folder, I can see these two MOV files, which are the files that I actually needed or I was recording with. So I can leave those there or I can, well, I wouldn't leave it there actually. If it's causing an issue, you want to delete it or just open it up or move it to a folder where you can easily find it. And then that's it. And for me, all I had to do was delete these two files. And once I deleted them, my quick time started working perfectly. Um, and then I could then use it for recording other videos, that sort of thing. So this is something I just thought to share with you so that you can bear in mind that when it comes to um, finding unsaved files, it's, it's as easy as copying this file path here, go into, into Finder, then click on Go, go to the folder, paste it in, including the user at the user slash username and then um, just go to that folder and then you can delete the file or move it to a place that suits you i hope this tip helped if it does or if there's somebody else who might need this information please do share it with them and i will put a link i'll put the file path this file path in the description of this video so that you can access it for later let's say you want to do that on your computer you can access it and do that as well um, if this video was helpful to you go ahead and leave me a like or just leave me even more still better still leave me a t for thanks in the comments i'd appreciate that and let me know that this helped you otherwise i will catch you in another video uh take care if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe you know you want to all right i'll catch you in the next one take care